सिंपल एंड द होल्ड सर्किट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट वी मीन बाय सैंपलिंग ए सैंपल एंड होल्ड सर्किट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज सैंपल्स एन इनपुट सिग्नल एंड देन इट होल्ड्स ऑन टू द लास्ट सैंपल्ड वैल्यू ओके एंड चेन द next input is sampled again right This is an op amplifier, inverting and non-inverting terminals. Output inverting is connected to the output. There's a feed. There's no feedback register. Feedback register is zero. Input is applied to the non-inverting terminal. Here, this is an input voltage. Okay, and then. You know, like a uh, feedback resistor, it is zero. There is no feedback resistor. Directly connected output and inverting. Now here we are connecting a MOSFET, N-chain MOSFET, and uh, in a enhancement mode, N-chain MOSFET enhancement mode, and uh, this you know, like. Uh, MOSFET having a terminal source, train, and gate. This is a gate, and to the gate, a control pulse is applied. The square wave, it is applied to the gate. So when a square pulse comes, gate it opens; otherwise, it remains closed. So this is a control voltage. It makes the internal MOSFET on and off. Now here. we are having another op the second op okay and uh, this is again inverting non inverting terminal and uh, a capacitor is attached this is very important it actually samples and holds so here again now uh, feedback resistor is zero the so second op Now this is train. This is a source. Okay. So the control voltages, input voltages. This is first op, and this one is the second operational amplifier. It has a voltage follower. We are using N channel enhancement mode MOSFET, which works as a switch. that you can make the switch on or off and uh, that switch is controlled by the control voltage vc vc is the control voltage that is the square wave so when the high level comes switch becomes on when low level comes the switch becomes off so high Mean on and low mean off. Capacitor stores the charge. And analog voltage V, which is to be sampled, is applied to the non-inverting terminal of the A1. Then that uh, voltage goes to train because first op acts as a voltage follower. That voltage goes to the train input voltage. So this is train. This is the control voltage. It is applied to the gate. So this is the analog signal, input signal which is coming, and uh, even op it it allows it to pass, and then this signal goes to train. Okay. 
and then here is the control voltage there is a square wave you know having some time period for which the high level high level remains then it goes high to low so this control voltage is supplied to gate so it, it becomes on when the high level comes when it is on this analog signal it passes through the switch so it allows this voltage to pass and then that voltage goes to then that voltage goes to the source and then apply to the second hop capacitor starts charging with this voltage it charge up to the same level again this is voltage follower then that voltage also passes to the second hop and we get an output exactly of the same shape as that of the input now what happens now there is no this square low level so switch becomes off when switch is off then what happen the capacitor having the voltage and uh, input terminal is input impedance is infinity so capacitor cannot discharge itself that voltage that voltage remains and then again that voltage passes to the that voltage passes to the a2 because a2 is voltage follower that voltage appears at the output the same voltage you know now next you know again the again the square wave comes and when the it the switch switch becomes on and the same type of voltage you know this voltage it passes to the switch and uh, it it also allow is to pass so ultimately the output becomes like this now at this instant again it is off and uh, the capacitor hold this voltage so long as the next square wave arrives it holds the same and this voltage again passes to the second hop now again the high level comes and then that type of the you know the variation of input analog it passes to the switch as well as to the second hop the same type so ultimately the voltage of output becomes of this shape now then this is this was the input analog signal this was the input and uh, the red one you are getting you are getting the, uh, the signal that is z color that is the output okay